good afternoon, YouTubers, friends and family across the world. This is Mike with your morning dew. Daily events worldwide. I want to welcome you to July 31st, 2017. On a very smoky day in Calgary. This is not a haze. This is not a warm haze. There are actually clouds up there. It's hard to see them. We've got new fires in northwest of Williams Lake. And there are two other places who have just erupted. There are people being evacuated as we speak. And this is the air that we're breathing here in Calgary. And I am finding it hard to breathe. That is for sure. But this is my uh, last night here with this view. Until the next time. And I want to thank all my subscribers. You're welcome. All my new subscribers, this is Morning Dew, and you are going through a transition, the ascension, to a whole nother level. I want to thank you for joining me. And this is why we're dealing with those fires. We've got heat wave across Western Canada right now to be alerted with, and very poor air quality over the next coming week. Temperatures will be reaching the high 30s, feeling like 40, possibly in a couple small towns in BC, I'm sure. Uh, I have friends in BC and they say uh, already it feels hot and we're expecting a heat wave. Oh boy. But as, as you can see, no moisture coming in. This is not good for the fires. Not good at all. This is a five day forecast for North America. Very large system developing over the Ontario. And also we have. Um, Hurricane Eileen, Elaine, sorry, and uh, yeah, she'll be heading out to ocean. No storms as a threat except for Nisat and also uh, Noru. Noru has uh, gained strength. It is now core category four, super typhoon. And I knew this was going to be a season for super typhoons. They're just on a different latitude this year. I don't understand what's going on. A lot of strange changes on our planet. We're going through a lot of changes together, folks. I hope you're prepared. I just hope you're all ready. Because I know I am, and I need to do my changes now that are necessary to adapt to a new atmosphere. And that's what we are doing right now. We are adapting to a very violent and extreme atmosphere that we try to control, and we're gaining more control minute by minute, actually, with our new technologies. Evidence of it all over the place. But yeah, we're dealing also uh, a very high wind event throughout Australia over the next couple days. A uh, large low pressure system moving in from the west, or sorry, east to them. But yes, uh, still very violent and cold winds on the southern continent of Australia. Uh, a lot colder than normal. Uh, we're dealing with a heat wave here. It is the middle of summer. It is winter down there, but they haven't seen a winter like this yet. I'm sure we're going to we'll be getting more reports uh, in the coming month as uh, they get into the depth of winter. Um, as I had said, a lot of strange events happening worldwide, weather related, and we'll be dealing with these extreme weather events for the coming years as we enter uh, a grand solar minimum and what we see here in the south in the southern hemisphere in the jet stream and in on the low pressures they're huge vortexes velocities same thing in the northern hemisphere so here we are this is the satellite imagery looking over BC and yeah uh, you can see, you can clearly see that there are some large fires burning in BC. You've got Williams Lake, southern here, just north of Williams Lake. We've also got a couple other spots, um, new. Unfortunately, I don't have all the data. I'm not able to, uh, research as much as I can without the internet. I'm doing my best here, but, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Just looking at satellite imagery from around the world for the fires. And you can see there are still large fires burning in the Yukon. 
and also in Alaska. Actually, a pretty sizable one here. We'll just zoom in on that one. Yeah, that's a. Uh, you can see all the smoke just east of it. Oh, and oh man, look at that. Yeah, that one north of it. New, new fire. So a lot of new fires in the last 24, 48 hours in Western Canada and the United States. As Earth has been shaking as well, we had a 4.0 on the San Andreas Fault, just 20 in the last 24 hours, uh, 4. Point, or sorry, 4.6 in, uh, in Oregon, 5.1. New Caled or was it New Caledonia? No, Ferndale. Sorry, Ferndale, Caledon or California. That's right, Fern Ferndale, California. Five point one, four point six. My bad. I only have one shot at this too, and I want to thank you guys because <laughs> sometimes this happens. Uh, <clears throat> but this is satellite imagery. I just wanted to show you the smoke over the world from the fires. We were looking at the ones in Africa as well. We're going to go across the, for typhoons now, tropical cyclones and typhoons. And we have Typhoon Nora, who is heading north, northwest. We've also got this storm here. Um, Emily, that's right, tropical storm Emily. And she's on a track out to the ocean, no human threat. Yeah, you know, I, I try to load up images and stuff like that. I just have really slow Wi-Fi. Uh, and again, I, I wish that I could edit it more. But unfortunately, I get like one shot at this here uh, with what I've got. And I'll be heading, if anybody doesn't know yet, I'm heading across Canada on an adventure. And I want to thank you all for joining me over the past three months since I've created this channel. I want to thank you all for joining and your loyalty and your views and your gifts and your cards. And I've gotten birthday card. It was fantastic. I've never gotten a birthday card from a subscriber. Of course not, because it's the first time. I, yeah, anyways, sometimes I'm a fool. But yeah, I got a birthday card. Jana, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much that you sent me a birthday card. And I look forward to the future. Morning Dew forever. As a subscriber, I love you. Thank you so much. It's a shout out to you, Janet. But yeah, Typhoon Noru will be heading to China and Japan. So that's pretty much the only uh, major storm that is heading towards humanity. Anything to be concerned about is Noru. Um, yeah, Emily has uh, spawned a few tornadoes, but is on a track to the Atlantic Ocean. Doesn't look like it'll be heading back unless there is another strong low that comes in from Canada, of course, and merges and becomes a superstorm, like kind of say anything. But, uh, yeah. Very active planet. I, I tell you that. We're going through some great changes. And here we are. This is the earthquakes. Last 24 hours... And, wow, is there anywhere it hasn't had an earthquake in the last, wow, look at that, 5.7 in Russia, uh, 5.1, Mediterranean still shaken, most recent here in Indonesia, 5.1, no, 5.3, sorry. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for watching today. This is a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Earthquakes in diverse places. There comes a time when everybody needs to ascend to a new level. And that's what is happening in our world. We are changing. 
and we are ascending to a new level. And we have to do this together. And we do this together by sharing and caring and preparing to adapt to a new world. It's not the end of the world. I'm not here to broadcast this the end of the world. I'm here to say that we need to keep sharing the knowledge, expect the worst, and prepare for the best, and adapt. This is the last, now, three days. Last 72 hours. It's a lot of action. North America, South America. But, you know, I want to, again, I want to thank you guys. This has been a journey throughout since I've created Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, where I post severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. I take my research and I put it into a video for you guys so you can, so I can share my knowledge with you and that we can come together and share our knowledge, share our research and prepare for our new climate, as I said. You know, we are going through a solar minimum. But it's not just a solar minimum. It's a grand solar minimum. A grand is a very big word to describe big. So, I hope you're ready. Get ready, because there are a lot of changes coming. The day after tomorrow. Hashtag, the day after tomorrow. This is Mike with your Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. I want to thank you for watching today, July 31st, 2017. Love y'all. Stay young. Have fun. Get your morning, dude.